What's going on guys, this is yours and Sensation here with a Dragon Age Inquisition Hinterlands Astrarium guide. There's a lot of these in the game, so I thought I would throw up a video to help you guys who are having trouble. Now, the first one is going to be the first ever one you ever see when you locate, or when you locate, when you enter the game, it is pretty much um, south of the first camp. When you enter the Hinterlands, uh, you fight a bunch of Templar, you can't miss it, and here it is, the Astrariums, there's a little bit of lore if you want, to, if you wish to read it, um, up on this hill, and then there it is, the telescope looking thing. Astrariums are fairly easy, some of them can get quite complicated though, and this first one is, I believe, the, Ast the Astrarium Judex, so there's the number map on the screen for you. In case you want to pause it and do it this way, but I run through the entire order of doing it, so... This one only took me about two tries, or something like that, or three. I can't remember how many times I messed up because it was a little bit stupid, but there you go. Bam, bam, bam. Connect the dots. Uh, don't do it like that, you idiot. There we go. I finally get it. Oh, it's a sword. It is fantastic. And you complete the Constellation Judex. Now, all of these Astrams lead to one final treasure chest, so it is worth doing. So, there it goes. It points to the next location, and uh, you're, you're off. Um, I believe it's, yeah, it should mark on your map, so it's, it's a quest, and it appears for use in case you get, in case, in case you get lost. So, this next one is, uh, well, the way I took is just after the, the farm, when you try and get the horse master, uh, you're gonna go up the stream, go up around this waterfall, and run up this area. There shouldn't be any enemies around, aside from the few wolves that they ask you to take out and other things like that. Climb up this mountain, try and jump, try and, try and jump, try and j Okay, I'm having difficulties, obviously, and I finally get up there, and there is the second Estrarium in the hinterlands, right near the farm. Just north of the farm, actually. There it is on the map for you. And a locked door that I... I thought I opened in this playthrough. Anyway, but this one is, I believe, the boat, if I remember correctly. I cannot remember what it is called. The number map will be on the screen momentarily. Uh, oh yeah, the Paraquilis. Uh, 8 and 9 is up on the top of the screen. It was very hard to see because they're very spread out sometimes, but just watch as I go through it. This one uh, took, took quite a while, not gonna lie. And then the last one uh, takes even longer so just just bear with it on some of these and hopefully this guy guide will help you um, I'm a little bit confused on what I'm trying to make and then I realize oh it's actually a boat so I finish it and there you go it's a, it's a nice little uh, sailboat it's a Viking Viking sail ship yeah yeah it's pretty cool there it is constellation para paraquilis quilis however you pronounce that paraquilis Something like that. And it points to the final one, if you have not gotten this one anyway. This one is called Draconis. Now, this one is the worst one that I had difficulty with because there are a lot of enemies leading up to it, and they're very tough enemies as well. At least level 8 for one of them. Now, here I am. I take the road. I'm very confused. I'm checking the map. I'm trying to figure out, okay, how, how exactly am I supposed to get there? Am I supposed to climb? Is there a road? So I finally realized, oh, you're supposed to go around, so this is, I'm just going to speed it all the way up because you don't want to see me trying to get past all this crap. Now, you can't stealth just straight through, but I wanted to kill everyone, and I quickly realized that was a huge mistake because a Prowler one-shots me. Bam, right there, I fucking die. Everyone's dropping like flies. It is crazy. These Templars are insane, especially that big one with the hammer. I have Solus just pelting with magic and... Soon I only have those two left, and it's it's insane. There are a lot of enemies here. I suggest you stock up in potions, at least level 5, baby, or something, because they, they are difficult, especially that Prowler. He just one-shots you. Make sure you get him out of stealth first if you can find him. Otherwise, he will just come up and backstab and kill everyone. So there I am. I'm low on supplies, but it doesn't matter, because I pretty close to the end of this thing and I think this is the trail and I try and climb up the mountain but nope and then they attract more people so again I'm gonna kill them just dispatch them they're fairly easy after that first initial guard post because that big guy with the hammer just wrecks and then the prowler is there as well so there I am again just trying to climb the mountain I'm being an idiot don't don't do this it doesn't work <laughs> trust me because right around this rock is a trail and I just finally realized it and was like oh here we go. Finally, 
finally here, right there. The easiest way to find this landmark is near the broken bridge. And usually find it. Um, it's an X on your map if you discover the location. Run up all the way to this trail. And there it is at the end of the road is the Astrarium. The last and final one. That was a little rabbit that ran by. I don't know. And there's a nice little loot chest for you. So yeah, it's pretty worth getting up here. Fighting enemies and everything. If you don't have stealth, it's completely fine. Like I said, it's, it's doable. I would think I was on hard or normal on this. So Nightmare is a different story. But just try it. I think you'll do it. Um, but here it is. The final Astrarium. I could not do a number map for this one because there are so many gosh damn points on this they, they would be all over the top of the screen. I think there are three on the top right so I just can't show you. But just follow this guide. It took me a lot because there's one point that you don't even touch which I hover over just now. You're not supposed to touch that and that confused me to no end. So make sure you don't touch that one and it will complete the puzzle for you. It may look like you need to connect all of them, but that one's just, I guess, a decoy or something. I don't know, but just follow this guide and you'll be perfectly fine as I slowly connect the dots like you were in uh, kindergarten to make, make a dragon, a dragon in the stars. So like I said, this, this is probably the hardest one out of all of them. The other two were fairly easy, especially the sword. And the only thing that tripped me up here after doing this about six, seven times was the uh, the extra star that you're not supposed to touch. Two stars, actually, because they're just underneath the wing. And finally, you finish it up, and there it is, the dragon. So this is the Astrarium Draconis. Boom. Constellation Draconis. High dragon. Now... The reason you want to do all this is because all of these Astrariums lead and point to your final destination, which will be a nice little treasure chest that is normally blocked off by a magical gate unless you complete all of these puzzles and open it to get the loot. Now, the, th the cool thing about this is you pick up a quest early on. Uh, I believe there it is on the map. I finally find it. It is called Apostates in Witchwood, which I will show in a few seconds here. Hinterland's quest, and there it is, Apostates and Witchwood. Now, this coincides with your Astrarium location, because they're pretty much in the same area, and that is where the Apostates are hiding out. So, all you need to do is run around, go to the, the mark where your Astrarium is, and then you'll come across this strange-looking crystal formation with a weird-looking warp gate. I highly suggest, before you get over here, you there's a couple of landmarks and a whole bunch of chests and other things and enemies to loot. I suggest you loot all those before you do anything and entering over here because it's, it's worth um, worthwhile to look around and try and find all the loot you can. But anyway, these mages are fairly easy. The only all you have to worry about are some of the guards, and uh, the, the the outside guards are really easy. I think it's only three or four mages that you have to worry with. Yeah. Okay. So five. Two more came around, but my party is pretty much OP. So it's fairly easy. Look at that. Dual wielding rogue, Cassandra, everything. Too good. Uh, at this point, I forgot to restock, so I am low on potions. But that does not bother me, because I, they're, like I said, they're fairly easy. I'm like level 4 or 5, I think. And this quest you pick up very early on. You can't miss it right outside the, um, the camp when you first enter the hinterlands you there will be a whole bunch of mages and templars fighting each other it's it's something that you basically can't miss there's two ways to get it you can loot the note off the ground or someone i think mentions it mentions it in your camp this barrier is fairly easy to get by make sure you have a mage in your party which you have to when you first start it's soulless just have him cast ice and then use everything else that isn't fire on these gates and the gate should pop open soon bam there you go now you're free to enter now this one I really suggest if you have just prepare use tactical camera or anything because I just went in gung ho and there are a lot of mages they cast down so many circles and shoot so many fireballs and everything at you it is insane and I made that mistake and retreated very quickly so what you want to do is try and take out the back mages first don't even worry about the guards with swords. They barely do anything unless you're a really squishy character. Just try and kill those mages because look at how many runic circles are on the ground. It is ridiculous. I, the first time, I think, on one of my characters when I tried this, I uh, got chain blasted. I just kept getting frozen and frozen and frozen and frozen. And it was nuts. 
But uh, if you take out the mages, they're fairly easy. That's pretty much the only obstacle in this area. This, these are the only people that will guard this cave. And once you kill all these um, apostates, you're basically uh, killing two mages with one uh, stone in this quest. Because uh, you're getting the Australian stuff and you're completing the quest, which will give you uh, Inquisition power and a decent amount of XP and loot. So there you go. Finish up the last guy. There is loot all over the place. I spend a good bit of time just looting everything. There's a couple of chests in here as well. As well as, uh, you know, oh, that was a purple staff. I just, just now noticed that. I'm going to have to go back and check that. But there you go. Influence for your Inquisition and a whole bunch of stuff. And eventually you're going to get to this gate. Normally this gate would be blocked off by magic. But since we, if you followed this guide, you did the Asturium, this gate will be open for you. And you can easily enter and get all the crap that's in here because didn't go for the treasure chest, went straight for the elf fruit. <laughs> because lord knows I need a whole bunch of potions in this game. But there it is. There's the final treasure chest. Pick up some of the weeds and the plants. Still still picking up plants. I don't know why, why I did that. <laughs> I thought I went straight for the chest, but I guess not. But there you go. Finally, here you are. Open this chest. And you receive your rewards for doing the first puzzle in the Hinterlands. It was a lot of fun. I got Snakebite, a really sweet dagger. It is awesome. It should give you rewards based on whatever class you chose. And for me, since I'm a rogue, I got an awesome dagger. I hope this guide helps you. This has been your Origin Sensation. If you want to see more guide content and other videos by me and Let's Play on Dragon Age Inquisition and other things, go and check out my channel. Hit smack that subscribe button, poke the like, and roll your face on the keyboard. Leave comments down below on what you thought. This has been your Origin Sensation. I'll see you guys later. Peace.